Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you the global version, the original, brand new top. Sell and sign wind turbine product on AliExpress with discount price. Check discount price and buy from description below link. Eliminating damages in offshore wind turbines is very expensive. When turbines are idle due to defective transmissions, repairs often require special cranes, high waves strong winds, and poor visibility can hinder the deployment teams and further extend downtime. In the Gearform project, Prana for IWU and its industry partners developed a hot rolling process to manufacture durable, large module gears. In contrast to hobbing, hot rolling also boasts an outstanding material utilization rate and significantly shorter production times. With a diameter of 500 millimeters and a module tooth size of 9.5 millimeters, the gear produced for the Gearform project is the largest gear ever made using forming technology. The project partner specially manufactured a hot roll-in facility that heats the roll-in blank to 1200 degrees and incorporates the teeth into the component under rotational movement. This forming process produces no chips. The volume remains constant during processing, volume consistency, saving up to 20% of the material. Even more impressive is the time saving. The roll-in process takes six and a half minutes while hobbing would take about 60 minutes. Hot rolling has a particularly positive effect on the durability of a gear. During forming, the fiber orientation of the material is not separated, but merely adapted to the geometric outer contour, which increases both the root strength, lower part of the toothing, and the load-bearing capacity of the tooth flank contact area with other gears. Additionally, forming induced hardening effects like the influence on dislocation density and grain refinement come into play. The plastic deformation resulting from the hot rolling process causes a significantly higher dislocation density in the metal's crystal lattice, which increases its strength and hardness. Simultaneously, grain refinement leads to enhanced toughness of the material. Subsequent heat treatment also serves to harden the gear through machining. Grinding, the surfaces of the gear finally receive their final contour. The project gear form, energy and resource efficient forming of large module gears, was funded by the Federal Ministry for Economic Affairs and Climate Action. Project partners, besides Prana for IWU coordination, include EMA TEC GmbH, Carteret Rees Chemnitz GmbH and Co.KG, Draylon Mashinenbau GmbH, and Flenner GmbH and Co.KG. Draylon Mashinenbau GmbH, and Flenner GmbH. Teresa Leeds and her daughter, Sally Freeman, look at a burn turbine June 11, while surveying damage on their farmland in Mechanicsville. Two turbines on their property caught fire after being stuck by lightning, and have caused a major headache for the family, which has been left with debris and possibly tainted corn crops. Savannah Blake the Gazette, Teresa Leeds and her daughter, Sally Freeman, Look at a burn turbine June 11, while surveying damage on their farmland in Mechanicsville. Two turbines on their property caught fire after being stuck by lightning, and have caused a major headache for the family, which has been left with debris and possibly tainted corn crops. Savannah Blake the Gazette, Mechanicsville checking her cattle late May 13. Farmer Sally Freeman looked out across the newly planted corn and saw something alarming. The wind turbine that had stood in the field since 2012 was on fire. Lightning struck a blade and sparked a fire that spread to the nacelle, or central hub, that houses the generating equipment and lubrication oil. Flames shot into the sky as the damaged blade hung down before plunging tip first into the cornfield. This was the second wind turbine fire caused by lightning on the family's property in 14 months and debris remains of the sites about a quarter mile apart. Now, the family is facing a halting cleanup and uncertainties about the turbine owner's commitment to restoring the land for future farming. Iowa is a national leader in wind energy, with about 6,000 turbines, that provide more than 60% of the state's net electricity generation. Most of the time, turbines spin without incident. But a handful of dramatic incidents such as a May 21 tornado that collapsed turbines in southwest Iowa capture the public's interest. Lynn County Supervisor Kirsten Running Markwart believes wind and solar energy are critical to economic development in Iowa. These choices may be out of date. All of these products may not be in stores. We don't know when this will be back in stock. You need to go top sign wind turbine 2024 review link to see the most recent updates to the list. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to this channel.